Last time on Roll for Distraction. Last time, the party had their rather long meeting regarding the Eye of Vecna and what to do with it. Uh, after serious discussion, it was determined that Selyse would take it to one of her vaults, and the party would accompany her, and this would be their favor ode to Selyse, or part of it. They teleport with Selyse to her facility, put the Eye in a vault, and then are told to rest up, and we'll have a few hours before dinner. As soon as dinner starts, Selyse continues explaining what their actual objective is going to be. She has a prison facility that she lost contact with and there was a breach in. They are to go investigate and try and secure as many of the entities that have gotten out as possible. After the explanation and being given a layout of the prison, the party is teleported there and they arrive to a room dark except for red flashing lights and blaring alarms. Crassus being familiar with these facilities, goes to the command center door and is informed by one of the remaining guards that everyone else is dead and they need to clear this place before he opens up the command center and explains what happened. Upon hearing that, they decide, all right, I guess we gotta start clearing it. And the party is cleared into one section and they spot a handful of mimics. Uh, they have a combat with mimics where Zid is put into peril uh, he gets out, they deal with the mimics, and Cirilla does her first fireball, and we left off with the party having just dealt with that room of mimics. Um, so yeah, we're in this room. We're here. Hello, everyone. It's it's episode nine. Uh, real quick, if I sound exhausted, it's because I just got back from a vacation and I am jet lagged. Whatever. Show must go on. <laughs> I just flew in from someplace and boy, are my arms tired. Yes. Boo. <laughs> Get him out of here. Happy National Ice Cream Day. Boo. What's the deal it with all, airline it, it food? All, I don't know. I didn't eat any. In all seriousness, uh, my arms are fine. We did a lot of hiking and such, so my legs are fucking killing me. Your it legs feel like jello. Not quite that bad. You're fucking. You're it's getting there. Legs, that's why. Well, it's because you need big man. You need much more Dale. manly caps like me at the DM. <laughs> Put your foot away. It's gross. <laughs> Stop, I wasn't showing you my foot. No, that's that's for the OnlyFans. You can't put that out there for free. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's <laughs> behind door number this one. It's across from the room with the mimics. Maybe you shouldn't. Yeah, someone uh, else first go one. in front. I'm the wizard. I got this. Also, yeah, you yeah, follow yeah. Squishy. I'll follow. I open door. No, you don't. Would Would you like to request the doors be opened? Because it was only doors were only being opened as needed to try and. Well, is is not he watching us on camera? No. No, I think he said they're scrying stuff. They're down. down. All of that stuff has been disabled. All right. Oh. So if you guys want to so park up on that door, I will go over here to the door, knock on it again, say, "All right, oh. we uh we took care of some of those mimics in um." The one bedroom. Can you open the door across from that bedroom? Roger. My name is Zidris. Opening door in. No, it's a it's a thing where you oh. say to con... you know what it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and after that thirty seconds, the door opens. Uh, this section of the map is a hallway near the armory. May I bird again? Yes. Bird, go observe. Ba -ba -ba bird, bird, bird. Uh, Party, and the other, no this door here is also open. Okay. This one is closed. All clear? All clear. All right. Um, uh, and this is not a door, it is a counter. Oh, That, like, can be lifted and lowered. And uh, then can I fly the bird through? Yes. Okay. What do we got back here? Uh, back here, going around this room, it is an armory. There are a variety of weapons, uh, simple firearms, any kind of spear or sword for indoor use mostly stuff that would be usable in a tight facility. Um, shields, some types of armor, uh, and a locked up case right here showing what appear to be black like spheres with buttons on them and like manacles and other means of capturing creatures. That's what you recognize from that. Can I do a perception or an investigation to make sure we're for sure clear in here? Then investigation. Um, I've rolled a five. All clear. Great. All right. It's all clear, Never guys. seen a clearer room. Um, I'll, I'll call the bird back and I'll say down to Umak and Crassus and say, okay, I think it's clear in there. You can go ahead. So with 
Crassus, having gone into these facilities before, um, would he know like what kind of stuff is in the uh, the armory, particularly what? Uh, you might be familiar with those. Might be you useful. You generally are not like roaming this place at leisure. You're bringing something here and then passing it off to the guards and leaving. Cool. So you. All right. Well, I'll go search the armory. Okay. Is everyone searching the armory? I'll be last, but yes. Uh, as stated, there are weapons, ammunition, all sorts of things. Uh, that locked up case, it is locked. You do not have a means of getting into it. Wait a minute. Wait Ooh. a mimic. Hold I on. have a mis- I have a mystery key. It has a 5% chance of unlocking any lock. Where Ooh. did you get that? <laughs> it was my starting equipment. I've oh, always your had it. Item. Oh, your common method. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, <laughs> roll a d20, and on a 20, it'll open the yeah, lock. Yeah, that's 5%. I believe in you, Jared. Ha. Huh. Nope. Worth Doesn't a try. Work. All right. <laughs> Wrong key. Worth a, worth a try. May I detect magic? Uh, a couple of the weapons are magic, okay. and everything in this case is magic. Okay. The case itself is, or? The case itself is not. I, the case is just coming off as, like, a really good safe. Okay, and is, is there a keyhole with which to attempt lock picking? Yes, there is. Okay, then I would like to do so. Hey, Gerard, you know that thing that you do? Hello. When, when I do ability uh, checks? Guidance. Thank you. Three, uh, 23. Does not seem to open. It's a good fucking lock. It's like, you keep trying, and after a couple of minutes, it just, you just can't seem to get it. So, yeah, sorry, guys, that is, uh, that's... They should have used this to lock up hey. the Eye of Vecna. Hey, hey, John. Yes. Would I recognize what the the things that are in the case are? Yes, there are just some magic like shackles for like manacles, like hand and ankle. Maybe Got five. Those will be extremely Maybe five useful. to ten sets of those. You can't fully see everything in the case. You can just see a few sections of it. The black spheres you think you've heard about that within the facilities, you can select a room, throw them at someone, and then it will put them in that room. It's like the, the thing Doctor Strange uses in No Way Home. He gives it to Spider Man and he blasts Coolio. it at people and it teleports them into the cell in the basement. It's that. Uh, and there's a right. handful of ones in there that are a little different. But you you um, don't you don't recognize those. You think they're just a different I would of like to then go to the um, back to the control room. Okay. And bang on the door extremely loudly and be like, <laughs> Hey, Where's the key to the armory? Another person comes to the door. It should be in my room. And this person looks like they might be like they're the commander. Uh, there is a bedroom next to the hallway you are in. It should be in the desk in there. I didn't have a chance to get it. Ask him to open that door. Specifically. Opening the door. And I'll just book it to that door and be ready to fight whatever is inevitably in there. Hello, people from the internet. I fucked up and uh, used the wrong mic, so... No, no, we're not going to acknowledge it. No, we're, we're acknowledging it. it. Colin, apologize. Acknowledging the mistakes is funny. Acknowledging the mistakes is hilarious, yeah. <laughs> now, say you're sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to you, audience, not to you, Vigno, because... That's fair. <laughs> Crassus was running towards a door. Umak, go with him. <laughs> I'm going to go with him. Clark, go with them. <laughs> nah, I don't feel like it. Uh, all right, so we're going inside. Hang on. No, live, the bird's boys. going inside. Doing it live. Bird, observe. I really, you can't tell him to stop if he's going. Doing bird it live. Also goes. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a room. I don't like how he said it's go just on. a room. Go <laughs> on. There is a bed, a table, two chairs, uh, shelves on this wall, and a nightstand here. Lay on the bed, you coward. I would like to bonk the nightstand. You'd like to bonk the nightstand? Okay. Uh, does a 23 hit, Crassus? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. You take three bludgeoning damage, and you are grappled. Cool. Um, whatever decided it wanted to bonk me when I went to bonk it, it takes 15 frost damage. Why is it taking the 15 frost Armor damage? Armor of Agathis, baby! Okay, thank you. Uh, and you're grappled. I'm grappled. Okay, what what in this room is currently grappling me? The chair. The chair. Uh, I need initiatives. <laughs> Alright. Umak, you are up. Alright, I am going to 
uh, move forward, and I'm going to roll a uh, natural one. Okay. Christ, Brian. <laughs> um, <laughs> the mimic, instead of getting its opportunity attack, is going to sprout its arms and legs uh, because it was currently an object form, so it could not do that. Great. Oh my god. Is that another one? Another freaking natural one. Okay. The odds yeah, of that happening are 1 in 400. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is my blue dice. I will not be using this ever again. Thank you. Goodbye, blue dice. Uh, Alright, that's his turn, and now it is the Mimic's turn. That was so productive. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all night. Uh, the Mimic has advantage on any creature grappled by it, so... The Mimic is going to just start swinging wildly at grasses. Ah! Uh, it missed. <laughs> Crisis is here. Cool. Blave attack. Green flame blade. It's gonna be seven. Uh, plus an additional seven fire damage. Okay, so 14? Yes. Okay. And then on the second attack, because I get two attacks now. Uh, does an 11 hit? Probably not. No. Uh, Cirilla, you are up. Alright. Can I, like, Fireball. just... Uh. <laughs> no. Can I, like, just make it into the doorway? You could dash to get into the room but then you're in there and not attacking, so... You know what? I'll just dash up on top of the bed. Uh, Zid, you are up. Clark Germanicus, you are on deck. So I will move through Clark. One, two, three, five. I can get to this corner here. Can I attack diagonally here? What are you trying to do? Uh, I want to cast Illusion Bolt, because it doesn't fire a physical projectile, and I know these things are stupid. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll say that works. Um, I need an intelligence saving throw. Well, I rolled a 13, so 10. Ah, good. Uh, 15 is my save, so it takes 10 psychic damage. Uh, Clark, you are up. I'm at the back of the pack. Can I see the thing? Yes, with, but like, you're the attacking, like, of sight? through of your ally. Two, th- through well, two of your Well, good allies. thing, good thing I don't throw a thing, so I'm gonna just told the dead him. Uh, big seven, big seven. 12 necrotic damage. That is not great. It did not like that. Umak, you are up. Okay, there we go. I rolled an 18 to, uh, you know, bap him this time. Yes. That is Bam. way better than a Juan. That's 17 better a than a Juan. Juan. It is. I, I would I would agree with that. Nine damage. And with that, your flail strikes true, hits the top of its mouth, the chair thing, and it falls to the ground limp. Good, I can just reuse the same flail kill animation from last episode. We right. great job, right, everybody. Night, I would like to <laughs> check the not mimic desk for make an investigation check. Is it really an investigation check if I know it's in there? Hey, how many times have you lost your keys when you know where you put them? <laughs> oh my god! You don't find it. <laughs> this man's you messy. Pull, you pull the drawer out. Zidrus <laughs> like comes in and like elbows Crassus at late. Let me look. <laughs> what are all these takeout menus doing in here? <laughs> How? Uh, How are there takeout 14, menus here? We're in uh, an interdimensional twist. 23. Yeah, you find it. It's in a different <laughs> drawer. I just opened the second drawer. <laughs> yeah, and there's a key and a book in the second drawer. He was in the junk drawer, and the other drawer had just that and not much else. Is the book of interest? No. Okay. I open the uh, box. You put the key in and open the box. What's in the box? I die. Uh, yeah, so there are eight pairs of magic manacles. There are uh, a dozen of those black spheres. Right, eight of them, you said? I said a dozen. Oh, no, shackles. Oh, shackles, yes, eight. I would say all all of you can have two except me, because I'm never going to be near anyone to shackle them. And then the 12 uh, balls, you said? 12 of the regular black spheres and four of the other type. So we can all have at least two. Two of you can have two more, so two of us can have three. I would like a third one since I didn't get any shackles. The others, have you cast Identify? Uh, I was looking up how to cast it. You can ritual You can ritual cast it so it doesn't need a spell slot. Okay, cool, thank you. This appears to be a extra-dimensional space sphere that can hold a creature. Cool. Ah, a ball of up holding. To, up to a large creature. It's a Pokeball. It's a Pokemon. It does not make it listen to you. It just holds it. Not like a Pokemon. It's a shitty Pokemon. <laughs> it's a Pokey prison. <laughs> oh, it's just Charizard in there. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's, it's just a- yeah, it's just Ash's asshole Charizard. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be mean to Charizard, okay? Charizard was mean to Charizard's Ash. Charizard's mean to us. You do notice that one of them <laughs> appears to have a, uh, a little glowing light on it. Oh, is there a one thing the in four. there? Identify doesn't tell you what's in there, does it? Nope. All right. Can I stare that, at it? That I'm going to put in my back pocket. I'm going to hold on to the full one if other people want the empty ones. Point of order, I am not putting any of this in the bag of holding. Very good. Because I specified extra dimensional space. Yup, I do not want to go. The black spheres are not an extra dimensional space. They're just a teleport ball. Granted. Wait, what happens if you if you bag of holding a bag of holding while already on the astral plane? Do you want to find out? No. <laughs> you go to the <laughs> material plane. No, it, it might it might be like nothing happens. It's like the bag just stops working. Like maybe it just breaks. Or, or they might like butt up against each other like magnets that are polarized against each other. I'm gonna, like, s- I'm gonna say that they actually cannot interact on the ethereal plane. I like the magnet astral. idea. Astral, astral plane. That they just can't actually make contact. It's the space with each plane, other. not the ghost plane. You you try to put it in, and it's like you can't. No. It is an unovercome. It is a force that you cannot easily overcome. Uh, Gerard, what's your primary weapon, by uh, by chance? My actual weapon? Primary weapon, yes. Like the uh, melee weapon? I yes. got a mace. Okay. Wow, it's convenient. There's actually a, a plus one mace in this room. Wow. wow. So you can upgrade to a plus one mace, and I don't think anyone's going to berate you for that. I can't use it. Uh, there is... Is there a, a crossbow or something like that for Cirilla? <laughs> there is a plus one pistol. We're just turning Cirilla into Vanya just very slowly, and I'm okay Look, with that. When guns exist, it's not, it's not a laser gun. It's it's just a pistol. It's a, a revolver. It's a, yeah. Quick uh, audience reference: We are using a homebrewed uh, firearms rule set. It's very simple. It's like one page. I might throw it up on screen. This would be a really good plug for your book, where you have those. Rules yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I'm working on a book. I'll talk more about it at the end. I'm working on a book, and these gun rules are in it in in greater detail than what I'm going to show. There's a few more things. There is a plus one shield. A shield? Plus one shield, I yeah. Use, I use shields. All you, buddy. Is yeah, you are Umak. Umak, do you want the shield, or can I have the shield? You may have the shield. Okay. I will take the shield. The last weapon, it is a double barrel shotgun, but this one looks to be much more ornate. Like, this is a special thing, so yes. maybe you should identify it. Uh, this shotgun only deals non-lethal damage. Interesting. So it's a it's riot like a gun. stun gun, and it never needs to be reloaded. Dibs. It will always be ready to fire on its turn. It does not give it. A, it does not give a bonus to hit or damage. It is just. It deals non-lethal damage. Yeah, it, written on the side of it in like ornate letters is like a, a name. Like people name a sword it just says lullaby. <laughs> yes. There you go. All right. Um. So south side cleared here in the in the prison. Yeah. Yep. Why don't we report back and. Work on the north. All right, I'll walk up to the door and I'll and I'll be like, "All right, we got into the armory. We got some good weaponry. Open the uh, east side I, door." I don't know if you can keep that. Uh, okay. Do you want to we'll take it up with the later. boss lady? Well, yeah. All right. Uh, sealing all doors on the previous section, and you hear a bunch of just stone cl- clongs as, like, the Clong. door's all shut. It's like a comic book automatopoeia. <laughs> Clong! <laughs> Clong. Clong the conger. <laughs> <laughs> Clong the conger. Um, okay, so, new idea. I'm just gonna open all the doors on that side and so. uh, deal with it. And it gives you a thumbs up, and then you hear one, two, three, four five openings five clongs anyway the bird go in the in the bedroom go burb things perception perception <laughs> perception this is perception. the one the bird is good at uh that's oh. an 18 bed chair nightstand you see three again i re- i re- recall the bird i say to the those those who can cast fireball hey what do you want to run in That's there and blow me. up that room? Yes. Uh, <laughs> so it just runs in and goes, <laughs> <laughs> Don't gotta tell me twice. <laughs> Did somebody say boom? <laughs> <laughs> what if we 
both did it. Uh, please roll your damage, and each of you give me a total. I got 27 fire damage. 33. Wow. Okay, all right, yeah, hold on a second. Let me just do some math here, because some of them passed, some of them didn't, and none of them so, passed both. 27 <laughs> and 33. That was 60 fire damage between the two of you. Okay, now we are acting in initiative order. That room, everything except the mi- the four mimics is on fire. Oh, also, uh, I'm going to describe the room. Uh, as you both look into the room, it is covered in blood and viscera as the remains of four guards were consumed and... That's why we blew it up. Ew. Doom music, got it. Uh, Umak, you're first. Uh, I'm going to move in. So the reeds right on top of me. Great, I'm going to... I'm going to bat number three. 19 damage. Yeah, it's dead. Wow. <laughs> Great. Just. I'm going to turn around and bat number four. Yeah, you're out of movement. All right, never mind. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to uh, throw a hand axe. Eight damage. Yeah, dead. You hit nice. it right in, the, right in the center of its mouth and uh, it drops to the ground. Uh, Clark Manicus, you are up. Uh, that's me. Yes. I'm going to push past... You can get to two or one. No, 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 no. What? I'm going to okay. go right here. Okay. And I'm going to burning hands one and two. Okay, very good. More fire. Uh, fails across the board. 13 fire damage. Cool. Uh, roasted. Dead. Uh, do not leave it. We are still in initiative order. Uh-oh. Rot now. Ro- oh, Cirilla, as you are prepping to go, a mimic Oh, shit. As she's, as she's gazing behind. into the fire. <laughs> Cirilla is, is that, that meme of that little girl watching the building burn, <laughs> like, smiling. With, like, the smile. Yeah. Wait, hold on, I want to see It tries to hit you, and it is just wildly swinging. You're able to sort of what duck o- out of the way, and it is not What you. item, <laughs> what object is this mimic? Uh, this one is completely in mimic amorphous form. It is just, like, a mess. Gross. It's just goo with arms and legs. Ew. Ew. I don't that's like a mood. It. Make it an uh, object. That's a mood. Can I shoot it and just put it out of its misery? You will have disadvantage oh, yeah, because you are at point blank. Just use your sword. I was going to say, have I have a, spells. Yeah, I have, a, I have a rapier. That'll do more damage. We'll try that. Rapier. 11. That is a miss. I'm sorry. It just bear. It sort of catches you off guard and you're not ready. So you lunge out to attack and you hit space around it. it uh, okay, it fair. Crassus, you are up. Zid, you on deck. I will come here and uh, I'll shoot that mimic. Does an 11 hit? No, an 11 does not hit. Great. Zid, you are up. Umak, you're on deck. I'm trying to see. I don't think I have anything that can attack at this angle. How hard would it be to throw one of the black teleportation spheres over Grasses and Cirilla? ricochet it off the wall and hit the mimic. <laughs> really hard. Uh, also, you only moved one space. You can get here. Can you? Uh, okay, all right. If I can get there behind Yeah, you went one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six. You're good. Uh, so that's an easier shot, but it's still a little harder because you're going past Cirilla, who you don't want to hit. So I can move Right. Uh, that's plus six. So yeah, 18. Yeah, that hits. All right. And with that, this mimic in a Bye. pop is no longer there and the ball falls to the ground. Behind it, you see another mimic. Oh. Oh, it froze. I, I, who's, oh, is John frozen again? He's just pinching his Come eyes. Come on. Oh, no. Hang on, taking a screenshot. Taking a screenshot for <laughs> everyone. I, I'll only put this part in with John's permission. I'm back. I think that should be good. I think I'm back now. All right. Good. Let's see if it sticks. I don't think he's... I think he's gone again. <laughs> Will we ever defeat the last mimic? Find out in the next exciting episode on Dragon Ball Z. No. Will we ever defeat John's internet? It's true. John's internet is defeating itself right now. Let's be real. All right. Welcome to the ASMR section of the podcast. No, we're not. We're not doing this every time. (laughs) Today, today I'm going to be eating a chip into the microphone. (laughs) It's for all you food lovers out there. Here we go. Okay, so, um, apparently, 
like a week ago, my mom noticed that one of the dogs was chewing on my internet cable and opted to not tell me. Oh! <laughs> did, did, did I not ask at the beginning, have your dogs eaten your internet? <laughs> Where the fuck did we leave off? Uh, another mimic appeared know. after the one another we killed. Another mimic uh, Umak. Umak was up. Okay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, God. <clears throat> and music, Sorry, go. Bro. Sorry. Natural 20 to hit. Hey! Okay. 12 damage. Okay. Second attack. 8 damage. Clark, you are on deck. Or you're up. Wait, I'm off or I'm on you're deck? You're up. Oh. Ah. Toll the dead. Fail. 13 necrotic damage. Woof. Uh, that one's not looking great. It's its turn. That's a miss. It uh, swings at Umok, but hits his shield that he's holding. Cirilla, you are up. All right. If I reach around Umok, do I still have disadvantage on a pistol? No, you don't, actually, because uh, you're not in melee. It goes right past Umok's ear. <laughs> Umok is deaf. <laughs> but... Whoa! Umok's got tinnitus now. You're like, sorry, it's the first time. I didn't know these were loud. <laughs> Eight damage. All right. Good hit. Good hit. I'm sorry, Umok. She'd be like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Crosses, you're up. Zid on deck. Can I reach a lullaby around the corner and shoot it next to Umok's other ear? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you asshole. John, I'm going to take the dash action. Okay. And I'm going to run into this room, and I'm going to yell back to the dudes in the command center, open the back door. Go right there. And you're, you're there. Okay. There was a mimic pounding on that door. So it has, we're going to say that it, like, meets you here. That is your turn. Zid, you are up. Umok, you're on deck. Uh, considering I have no idea what's going on with grasses over there, I will simply fire another illusion bolt at number seven. Give me an intelligence save. Uh, okay, so I rolled an 11, eight. Cool. Uh, ten psychic damage again. And then, because I, I see that there's four of us here, and Clark is kind of congested behind me, I am gonna take thirty toward grasses. Okay. Uh, Umok, you're up. Natural twenty again. On Woo! number seven. Okay. Yeah, Just nice. to make up for those ones. Seventeen damage. Hey, guess what? The book bops it again. <laughs> <laughs> Knowledge is power. <laughs> it doesn't die. It dies. That was, oh, it does die. Okay, you, uh, you clock it, and it falls to the ground. Wait. Oh. Oh. No. Who left? Oh, no. That'd be, uh, that'd be uh, the person whose turn it is. Oh, no. <laughs> <It's> left. <laughs> oh, well, the goddamn it. Well, shit. <laughs> Give him a minute. A whole hour later. Hey. Oh, my God. Is that Gerard? Hey. Oh, my God. It's Gerard. Holy shit. Who the fuck are you? So, Gerard, it is, uh, it's your turn. Um, mm -hmm. There's no Mimic in sight. You have 60 feet of movement. I guess you want to dash, probably. Sure. So <laughs> Mimic. You mean you stop chewing whatever you're chewing? <laughs> Sorry, I had a mint. I'm not. Uh, we were just saying. It's the Mimic, not Mimics. Well, it Mimises, so. <laughs> so, really, you're up. Alright, I'm... I'm going to move closer to Umbach, as close as I can, please. And if you want to dash, you could. Yeah, why not? Uh, Krasis, you are up. Can I shove the uh, shotgun in his mouth and pull the trigger? Yeah. O 11 does not hit, I'm guessing. You're correct, yes. Okay, Zid, you're up. Uh, stand here, illusion bolt, intelligence save. Cool. Fail. Zero. 11. 11 psychic. It got a zero. <laughs> That's down. <laughs> it's, it's it's impressive how stupid they are. We'll mock you up. I rolled a 19. 14 damage. Wow. Second attack. Nine damage. Okay. Uh, it is Corkmatica's turn. I'm just gonna do a toll I did or something. 14. That's a fail. That is 16 necrotic. Uh, mimic is going. Can I hit? Probably not. You're right. I can't. Continuing to flail wildly at the uh, adventurers, it fails. Cirilla, you are up. Cross is your Oh, great. We taking a shot. Wonderful. Nine damage. Alrighty. Crassus, you're up. Zib, you're on deck. Cool. Um, well, Lullaby is letting me down, so I'm going to uh, 
bonus action bamf my blade into my hand. And then I'm just gonna fucking whack him, green flame blade. 16 slashing damage, 5 fire damage. Okay, alright. Yeah. Uh, and with that, you... Is dead! Cleave upward, lifting it briefly before slumping to the ground. It is defeated, and silence falls over the area. Um, and then briefly, uh, the only room we haven't checked is this door here. It's like another small bedroom. Yes. Uh, that door Any is hostiles open. hostiles there? Uh, no. Okay, fantastic. Then let's report over to uh, the main door here with the dudes. Knock uh, on ooh, it and say... There's one thing in that room. Uh, what? About a third of a body. Oh. Oh. Well, if it ain't trying to kill me, I don't care. I'm I knock you. on the <laughs> I knock on the command door. Say, all right, I think we're clear. You think we're clear, or you know we're clear? We know. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're clear. Mimics are, you know, they tend to attack when you walk in a room and blow stuff up, and we did a lot of that, and none of them are attacking us, so. And the door is open, and there are five people inside. Hello, new friends. How you guys doing? We've been better. Okay, All right, fill us in. What are we What are we dealing with here besides mimics? I don't. Um, okay, so we were just after a sh- in the middle of a shift change, and um, the others were supposed to come here, and they didn't. Then all of the scrying, and the person who seems like shaken up about this, everything went out, and then the emergency alarms all came on. So we don't know what the levels below look like. But we just started hearing screaming until it stopped. Right. Uh, we've been in here for maybe maybe a day. Um, Do you have a manifest or anything? Yes, the prisoner. The one, was, the one back at the main place was uh, incomplete. Yes, it was not updated. So the previous. Okay. Um, on the first tier, we have a group of goblin pirates okay right. astral plane pirates uh, cool. one of the wings is holding you guessed it mimics and the other is holding abyss chickens okay alright we don't know how many uh, what are abyss yeah. chickens uh, d- demonic vermin uh, I suppose a danger in a large enough number but not really a huge threat um, oh, cool. We have listed here several swarms of abyss chickens, so we don't know yeah, how many. Uh, a large enough number to be concerning, but yeah, not individually a um, problem. Maybe they've eaten the pirates. Tier 2, we have what appears to be spectators. Maybe four. Okay, jeez. That's gonna be rough. And That's what the Pokeballs are for. Yeah. Mm. And the teleport balls. Oh, those things too. It would also appear there may or may not be eight gazers, depending on if the specters, spectators ate them or not. Sure. Yeah, they don't tend to get along well, even with each other. No, not at all. They're uh, they're not bright, the gazers, so generally the spectators just well, kind of... Yeah, no. uh, and on the lowest level, we do actually have two occupants. One of them was brought in just before. Uh, we have an adult white dragon... Oh. Uh, and the other it. is Abolith. Oh, that's terrifying. So we have an Abolith and an adult white dragon on the lowest level. Mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh, good. Maybe I'll, I'll turn back to the party and I'll other. say, save save some of those teleport balls for the low level. Yeah, I think we'll need yeah. them. Mm, great. Oh yeah. Um. All right, are any of you folks injured? Nah. No, not you guys, the survivors over here. Nah. Oh. <laughs> we don't matter. <laughs> uh, no, they're just very hungry. They've been locked in there for... Okay. I'm sorry, not an adult white dragon, a young white dragon. Okay, good. Okay. Still that's okay, concerning. That, yeah, that, that's still definitely a big difference. A hard fight, but uh, yeah, not uh, not <laughs> a death sentence. Yeah, an adult white dragon would would ruin you. Uh, a young yeah, white a dragon time. is manageable. A young white dragon is it's a it's a solid boss fight, but <laughs> yeah, you're um, level six. 
Crassus will yeah, Crassus will rough. chime up how much of the defense systems on the lower levels are still working. Uh, we should assume none. Oh. Yeah. So all of this assume is out on its own level. Now the levels are self-contained until you go down. All right. Well, as, uh, yeah, give us a moment to gather ourselves and. Um... So we are going to end the session here with the party grouping up on the elevator getting ready to go down all right everybody thank you for listening you guys you guys consume content you know how to what what you're supposed to do at the end of the content um real, real, real quick since i mentioned it earlier yes i i I, uh, I am done basically writing a book um just waiting on some art for it it's a campaign module book you know something like curse of strahd or uh uh descent into avernus something like that um There'll be more information on it later. There's a small trailer for it up on the channel. I'll put a link in the description. Um, there'll be more info later as, as it gets closer to being done. Um, probably coming out end of the summer. Um, so keep an ear out for that. And yeah, that's it. Uh, adios. Adios. Goodbye.